Good day. How are you? Uh, it's the Misfits podcast, rated five stars on iTunes by Barry Internet. He says, never listen to this podcast, but my wife's boyfriend seems to love it. Is that mm. the Barry Internet? That's the, the guy Barry, that invented the internet? It's the Barry. He actually Holy invented. Shit. He invented That's the wild. web, Toby. Wow. The whole web. My goodness. Holy shit. You ever use the web? Did he also design Spider-Man's webs? This is Swagger Souls. He's here on the show. Hi, how are you? <laughs> also joined by Jay, a.k.a. McCreamy. How's it going? Mason, of course, a.k.a. Zuckles. What's going on? And, of course, here is Toby on the telly. Hello. We're all here. My name's Fitz. I'm having mm. a blast. Can't wait to jump into the show. Swagger, you're a little distracted currently. I am. You are. I am. Oh, my. I am playing uh, Raid Shadow Legends again. on my iPhone again? once more. You did this last week. Again. Yes, I, is that last week. Well, that a was couple a couple weeks ago. ago. Yeah, oh, so right, I, 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 I have this shit downloaded for about He's a month. Still now. grinding. He's still grinding away. Still enjoying it. Still having a, a, a gay old time. Nice. Uh, as my boy, level sixteen Crusader. Look at that armor. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, is, yeah, that is cool. That is cool. Really cool, That's right? So cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's so resembling dude, to Raid me. Shadow Legends is just awesome. So awesome that they gave me this entire thing to read. Wow. Um, Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, he's whoa, going, whoa, he's whoa, whoa, he's going crazy, he's going crazy on the Misfits podcast. You see, <laughs> he's oh, throwing up. I, I don't need a script to tell you guys how good Raid Shadow Legends is. Are you kidding me? It is probably <laughs> the best game <laughs> that I've played. We kept the script if you need it. We'll, we'll just, you, you keep we'll, going, we'll put we'll it together. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> just keep going. Keep yeah, you going. got this, buddy. If you, if you guys Fuck. are like... Sorry, proceed. <laughs> You will sink hours into this game and not even ride. realize that hours have gone by. You know, I've, I take a dump. I, I have to take a massive dump. I go on the toilet. I whip out Raid Shadow Legends. My bowels have just magically emptied. Like the, like yeah. the, like the, the defecation has been teleported yeah, no out, of my, <laughs> out of my intestines. Yeah. It's, it, it makes time go by so quickly. It's such a fantastic game. There's there's new stuff. There's new updates, major updates. We have a link for you to get stuff. Actually, uh, I'm pretty sure that was in the script. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to find that. It's all right. What luckily, luckily, I have another script. What? No. It's that bit. Um, <laughs> I know. I'm trying to put that together. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, yes, they have huge plans for updates in the game for the next six months, and there's. Uh, there, there is infinite content for you to join now. More than now, 300,000 reviews, Swagger. Oh, really? Yeah. And over 10 million players. It says right Holy here. Shit. Yeah. What? But yeah, apparently there is infinite content for you to enjoy. I think this Rain might Shadow be a little bit of a, a little bit of an exaggeration, but there, there's plenty of content for you to enjoy. Probably right. not infinite, but probably at least 40, 50 hours. Legally not infinite. Legally not not click, infinite. Click the link in the YouTube description uh, and click on the special links. If you're a new player, you'll get 100k silver plus one free champion. Hexweaver. Hexweaver. You get Hexweaver. That sounds sick. Lots of treasure yes. wait if you're in game, guys. Shout out to Raid Shadow Legends. Is there anything else we got to cover there? Uh, it's free to play. It's free to play. It's, it's fucking, it's, it's just, yeah, it's Raid Shadow it's Legends, good, guys. It's, it's, a, it's, it's one of the Raid best Shadow apps. Legends. It's really good. Cool. Right. <laughs> guys, this is Frag the Misfits Podcast. Uh, to our audio listeners, sorry if that made no sense. Uh, Swagger, <laughs> Swagger had an ad read to do, and he ripped up the script right in front of me. Me and Toby were trying to put it back together. It was a puzzle. It was a mission. Half. It was a puzzle. It's, it was fine. I, was, I felt yeah, puzzled. Easy. I think he did well. Yeah, I felt puzzled by that. <laughs> Not too bad. Last um, week, we mentioned uh, the live show. And yes. uh, the dates that we mentioned have now changed. We That's did right. a oopsie whoopsie. Yeah. Yeah. Oopsie doopsie. Yeah. So instead of the Saturday, it's now on Friday, the 11th of October. Uh, tickets go on sale right now. Go wow. to, uh, they will probably be up by the time this podcast comes yeah, out. Yeah, and they're probably going to sell out quick because there's not many seats. It's just a little test show, a little bit of fun, a little bit of, mm -hmm. a, uh, bit of banter with the boys. It is the first yeah, one. Yeah, you want to be at our sorry. first ever live show. Yeah. Yeah. You, you need to see the, the, the possible beauty forward slash train wreck that this can be. This it could be, be yeah. so <laughs> epic. So yeah, go to our Twitter at Misfits and you'll see the ticket link or it's probably in the YouTube description as well. Yeah, most likely. Uh, mm. If it's not sold out, grab yourself a ticket, have yourself a good time and laugh at us, fail horrendously in an area that we have no expertise. Yeah, Did we mention the location? A Just that, the fact that it's no, in, we, Mel in Melbourne? It's, yeah, in, it's in uh, Melbourne. Yeah, it's in Melbourne. So I got last week, you had something that you were dying to tell us, but Mason mm. wasn't here for that it. So what me was that? and my boy Mason, all right? Let me just set the scene. Mason was, looks like he has no idea what's going <laughs> <I was laughs> on. I was, I, was, I was sitting at home. I was editing. I wanted to take a break very desperately. Mason hits me up out of the blue. He goes, hey, man. I have an extra ticket for uh, for AFL, for the footy. You want to go watch the footy? And I said, well, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should. 
And I, you know, I called up Ryan. I asked him, I was like, you know, should I go to this footy game or should I keep editing? And he goes, go, go. It's going to be fun. It was Geelong versus Collingwood. Calling, Collingwood, yeah. AFL, so, for anyone who doesn't know, is kind of like rugby, but it's like an Australian version of rugby mm-hmm. where they've had changed a bunch of the rules yeah. around. I had never seen an AFL game. I had never watched one on TV. I have no idea how it plays or how popular it is or any of that. But I still went just to, just to go. And I went with Mason. We linked up at the... Uh, at the fucking stadium, there was so many people there. Oh, it was, there was fucking so packed. many fucking people, oh, yeah. and it was freezing. Yeah, bunch of Aussies, a lot of Aussies. Do <laughs> oh go, oi, 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 you know, with the beers and shit, uh-huh. and like this, having, <laughs> nice, having a nice. good one. Uh, explain it, dude. We went. Your, we went with your uncle. Yeah, who, who I'm taller than. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Whoa. taller than his uncle. That's my uncle's a bit of a sh- my uncle's <laughs> a bit of a short cunt. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Roscoe, but um, yeah, we went to the AFL game. It was fucking packed. There was a lot of people there and fucking... It was one of the biggest games of the year so far and next week they're actually playing again mm-hmm. and it's probably going to be even bigger. But um, I was actually going to get tickets with him again. But uh, fucking... What's it called? I'm um, going to LA and shit. True, so, within Twitch Yes. Yeah. What so happened that's at, not happening. What happened to the AFL game though? That was oh, so dude, interesting to you, Swagger. I don't know, dude. Just the fact that like I, I sit down with him, his uncle, his uncle's girl, and we're, we're just watching it go. It starts and just the energy across the entire stadium. We were in good seats. There mm. was there was a lot of seats filled as well. Like. Yeah, we were right in front of one of the goals. Mm. Really? So oh, every single time cool. they would kick in the goal, like, you know, everybody would stand up and see. And I like when I started you know, I was just trying to figure out how the fuck they were playing the game and what the rules were. And then once I kind of understood, I started feeling the hype too. Mm. It's and a very I, bizarre game. Yeah, I got very into it. Yeah. Watching was, them get the ball and shit oh, is dude, so it's fucking it's funny. Deep. Like, it's, it's like a <laughs> mouse getting cheese, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, people are just fucking going for the ball, diving on each other. They're punching it out of their arms. They're, you know, they're trying to kick it into these into these giant goal posts. If you mm-hmm. get into the middle, it's six points. If you get it on the off, mm-hmm. uh, the, the like the other post near it then it's like one point mm. uh really and i've never seen a game like it really besides like maybe handball that i played in gym which isn't like a real game <laughs> yeah it's weird because they they pass it by like they hold the ball they and they hit it, it with their fist right yeah, yeah. 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 So you, you don't throw out to pass yeah or? yeah that's the only I think way that's you can just pass how you do it. You, that yeah. and kicking yeah whoa that's it's interesting. really strange yeah, yeah. And, and i love the way that they start each round where like both the teams are are sitting there and then one guy just takes the ball and spikes it up and then they both have to go up and try mm. to grab it yeah it's super sick and, 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 and it i really may, enjoyed it it may sound like you know because it's such a strange game it's like you know it may sound like something like ultimate frisbee or something where it's like not a very big deal but in australia it it's is like huge the deal. biggest yeah. sport massive. Massive. It, is it is huge, huge. And it was super fun to experience what that was like. I got the nice uh, AFL stadium experience. Mm-hmm. Had a couple beers, kicked yeah. back, we fucking beers, we had, footy. It was beers and meat pies, dude. We had uh, we had some awesome. meat pies and, and some beers. You know, it wasn't like Cracker Jacks and, you know, Coke and hot dogs. It was the baseball <laughs> thing, right? the old baseball thing. Everyone does Coke at baseball games? You bet your ass. What the hell's a Cracker Jack? Cracker Jack? Yeah. Cracker Jacks are like caramel corn. It's oh, popcorn with caramel. Of course. Oh. Super, super fucking good. Except for when the kernels get stuck in between oh, the God. gum and teeth barrier, and then you have to like kind of pick it It's like it a out. little mini game though, right? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Game. It, it's, uh, home. it's like uh, <laughs> training your tongue to be uh, finessive. Okay, well, it's oddly sexual, but appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the swagger just winked at me, and now mm. I can't stand up. Um, <laughs> so there was a lot of standing up and sitting down at this event, a lot of, like, yep. excitement. Oh, dude, totally. Kind of like church. Super, yeah, exactly. Very cool. I yeah. feel like with big sports games like that, uh, it's almost less about the game itself and more about the energy of just being in that environment. 100%. Yeah, well, yeah. the energy was infectious, you know, and yeah. you know there was just a bunch of people fucking... You know, just screaming and yelling, and some people were like, uh, you know, yelling profanities at the team from the <laughs> stage, and you're just like, mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is fucking sick. Yeah. And then halftime happened, and I really had to piss because I had two beers. So I go down to the bottom where all the bathrooms are. I'm waiting in line. I'm sitting there, and there's these fucking wall troughs. The way that the bathrooms work in like these stadiums, <laughs> it's like you pee on the side of a metal yeah, yeah. wall oh, that goes yeah, down. Yeah. You're standing on grates which is cool and everything, but um, I have a genetic condition where I can't piss 
if there is somebody in my line of sight or somebody is looking at me I or and I don't a, have complete privacy. It's 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 I was I busting. It was co- pea shyness. I was I busting. I think it's real. It is completely real. <laughs> I was busting for a piss. I had to pee so bad. I get up to the wall trough. I am in the corner, practically tucked away, and I still couldn't piss. Like, I, I have my cock out. It's primed. It's ready. But, like, my bladder just goes... And just closes, and and nothing comes really? out. Really? Yeah, I had to wait for the stall. I had to wait for the stall, and once the stall came out, wow. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" And it went in, and it immediately just fucking leaked. It Ugh. was it was really good, but but yeah, I had to do that <laughs> twice. It's just, okay, swag does anybody else have pee shyness? Yeah, I get what you mean. I get, I get where what you're you, coming yeah. from, but I can always like push through it. I can't. It I can't. Does. I tried my hardest. I tried to strain, but I almost shat myself instead. <laughs> it was, just wasn't a te- it wasn't a technique. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was able to employ. I have a similar <laughs> thing where I can't jack off if someone's looking at me. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, the sort of the same thing. <laughs> I can only jack off. Only jack off. Wow, this is great stuff, guys. <laughs> 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 no, there's something about live sports, man. Where even if you're not a sport fan, you can always get behind it, even mm. if you don't fucking understand the game. Yeah, I went to uh, like a traditional Canadian hockey game when mm. I visited. The best wow. energy, like so good, so hype. Mm-hmm. That's one where they just punch cunts, right? Like they that's actually, like yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, they just punch. Yeah, like and beat the shit out of each other. We saw fuck. a bit of a fight, but a bit of a scrapple. Yeah, that's shit. ice wrestling. Yeah, ice wrestling. Ice <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> have you guys? Have you guys been ice skating before? I have. Never. I've almost yeah, snapped yeah. my ankles. You've I've never been ice skating, Jay? Never been ice skating. I love ice skating. When I was younger. I mean, did I do this when you were at school? Yeah. I used to go, uh, me and a group of friends, every Friday night, there was this, uh, at, at, at an ice skating rink. They, like, it was dark. They had, like, nightclub um, lights on. And they just played music for four hours. And it, you could just, like, skate around and hang out with people. And, That's like, every ice. single Friday we went there. And I, I fucking loved ice skating. I really want to do ice skating here. Again. I did yeah. rollerblading. Rollerblading yeah, was a little bit easier than ice skating. I've never done rollerblading. It's fun. It's really fun. I just get the ones with like the four wheels on both. So I don't know it's easier. I can't do like that long thing. So I'll just end up snapping my ankles like I'm a fucking woman yeah. wearing heels. Have you seen those clips of like ice hockey players getting their fingers cut off and shit? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, Wait, no people, way. people are rolling through on these sharp blades. Ooh, and if, the if they run over your finger, dude, the chops off. There was this guy that uh, uh, like, like he tripped or something and fell over and like his his fucking uh, the, the, the blade on his on his shoe, his ice skate. Slash somebody in the neck and cut a, and cut and like oh. nick the jugular, so he was like really bleeding, and somebody had to That's, had to give him first aid. He survived. If but you kill someone fucked. like that, what's the charge? Like, manslaughter. You like? Do you get put in prison for that? If it was a Surely, complete manslaughter, accident? you might get put in for like. It would no. depend on the jury. You know? Like, cause that's it's a fucked. sport. It's just an accident. It, yeah, it, it depends. You know, it's not he, like he, he was just, out in public and he killed a stranger. Like you're both engaging in a dangerous sport. Yeah, it's true. It's like yeah. it probably signed liability. Yeah, yeah. So yeah they, that's true. So they ended up it's not like you're punching somebody in a street fight and then they yeah. fall unconscious and knock their head against the concrete and then they're brain yeah. dead. It's like taking a that's football man, injury. That's manslaughter. Mm. One of my friends... You go to jail for like four or eight years. When we were ice skating once, uh, one of my friends just fell over, smacked his face on the ice and lost his very front tooth. Oh, so you hate permanently to see gone. It. So he's oh. now hey, got, like, girls go crazy with that got like a retainer plate with a fake tooth on it. Yeah, that's the way you're going to go. I got one of those on my... Yeah, same. Yeah, like my front one. Yeah, same. my sister lost uh, lost a tooth, and uh, she ended up getting an implant. It was a, a cadaver's tooth. It's a dead man. Interesting. Dead Wait, man. What, Wait, like it's someone else's tooth. Yep, someone else's tooth. Ooh, was it a pirate? <laughs> I don't know if he was a pirate. I think it was just some fucking old guy. Uh, but yeah, now okay. she's got a dead dead guy's teeth. Get it uh, out. Stuck up in her stuck up in her, in her gums, drilled in there. That's kind Which, of metal. Yeah, it is pretty metal. I mean, stealing someone's teeth. You, you think about it, it's just like you know. I feel bad for a boyfriend. I wonder what a boyfriend thinks. Like, you know, every time like they kiss, it's just like a dead man's tooth. Oh, that's fuck. Yeah, right? It's just some dead old guy's tooth is up in there. Kind of mysterious. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of <mysterious>. Yuck. <laughs> you know grills? Like yeah. the rapper grills? Oh, um, those are fun. Imagine. I want one. So like <laughs> really? a lot of rappers just have, you know, the gold grills and mm. stuff. So that's, uh, that's fine. But yeah. imagine if you're one of the rappers that has the diamond encrusted grills. That's scary. And all of a sudden one pops out and then you've got like the hardest material on earth in your mouth. That would fucking well, mess up your teeth yeah. if you chewed on it and didn't know. Because oh, yeah. imagine, you know, you have all these small diamonds up on your teeth and you're like, 
Yeah, dude, I'll just eat a burrito. No need to take out my grill. I'm rich. And then you just start eating it, and then all of a sudden you crunch, and then you just split your teeth. I don't think anyone Ow. eats a burrito with a grill in it. <laughs> <laughs> but what that. could happen is you could have your grill on, a diamond could fall out, and maybe you don't notice it. I mean, I guess it would be pretty hard not to notice a diamond in your mouth. But yeah, imagine like swallowing a diamond or something. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you have to shit in a bag for a while. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Stop picking it out. Yeah, no, <laughs> gross. It's if a you, diamond, if, dude. If the diamond's worth 10 grand, and if you, you have diamonds it, in your teeth, you ain't going to be shitting <laughs> in a bag. The diamonds, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's true. And you're kind of above that at that point. Picking baguettes out of your shit. <laughs> you just fucking, you're flexing at that point. You're like, I swallowed a diamond. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh -oh. You know? Yeah, if you're picking diamonds out of your shit, then you aren't rich enough to have a grill. Yeah, exactly. For real. <laughs> Yeah. I want to get a grill, dude, just to try it. I know? want like a roll-up grill. I want a grill for like a roll-up. Like, roll <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you just taste it. I want a diamond ring. Okay, like I get the message, but we ain't getting married for a while, all right? Fuck. So. That's a nice, <laughs> nice attempt. Can't believe you just asked up front like that. So uncomfortable <laughs> on the podcast as well. Yeah, I mean, look, I can ask you if you want, but I just want you to buy the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in my Twitch chat the other day was like, hey, if I bought you, we were watching this video of like the most expensive jewelry store in LA. And uh, someone in my chat was like, if I bought you one of those rings, would you marry me? And I was like, no questions asked. Because they were like $20 million rings. I was like, you give me a $20 yeah, million yeah, dollar ring? That, yeah, Fuck yeah, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit who you are. Twenty mil. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> divorce you for all of your money. <laughs> give a <laughs> shit. Thanks for the ring. <laughs> what if it just turns out they're a really awesome person, though, and you have a genuine connection, and then you live happily ever after then with it's this a win -win. random person it's in your a, Twitch that's chat? That's a mad win-win. Yeah. And then you realize. Like the what lottery. do you mean, what if? I'm just saying. I'm saying like it's a positive, right? Yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never know with these things. Yeah. Take Fantastic. that chance. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm hoping that person uh, isn't a uh, poor college student who watches Twitch streams uh, when he should be studying. No, they're all, <laughs> they're all wealthy. Yeah. I assume they are. <laughs> yeah. I do get an, al an alarming amount of donations that are like, hey, just spending my last $15 on you, dude. Oh my God. I'm, yeah. I'm also, <laughs> and I'm also staying up and not studying for my test. And also my life's falling apart. But here's my last $15. I'm like, dude. What are you doing? You like, always keep your money. Whenever there's shit like that, like I'm studying for a test or I'm not doing my homework because you're streaming. Sometimes I'm like, do I just end my stream for the bit? Just be like, <laughs> be like come on, man. You got to do your homework. You just end stream. <laughs> Bad <laughs> and you time them out oh, for like three days. Time them out for three <laughs> yeah. days. Does timing out stop them from watching though? No, it just, just stops them from, from chatting. And if, if they're awesome. banned, can they if still they're banned, watch? I'm pretty sure they can still watch, yeah, but it's not chat. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. What else is new in the web, boys? What's going uh, on in the World Wide Web? Oh, bro. Pierce yeah. Morgan has pissed off trans people. Again. Pierce Why? Morgan's done it again. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to him? I just find it hilarious. Because I, I, I follow a few trans people on Twitter, so th they're just really angry right now at Pierce Morgan, and it's hilarious. Someone is always angry at Pierce Morgan. No yeah, he's a fucking idiot. You don't yeah. have to look very far. He was on uh, a breakfast TV show talking about uh, how, like, you know, transgender stuff is bullshit and stuff and he was like and then there was someone else on the show that was arguing that no it, it isn't bullshit it's a genuine thing that people struggle with and then he goes all right i'm a penguin i identify oh, as a penguin that, that argument and and then <laughs> and then they all laughed and like oh pierce is so cute and then the, the no one has ever said pierce then, is so well, cute and then, three, <laughs> and, then, and then three penguins walked out on stage and said this is so <laughs> fucking offensive. I cannot believe. I, like I wish. <laughs> the camera just pants the three penguins in the crowd. It's like, fuck this. Just, <laughs> just get out. Oh my God. Like um, a little baby penguin. Smile and wave. The Twitter account of the show then tweeted out the, uh, the, the clip at being like, look at this. This is funny. You know? What an idiot. And then, um, you know, I, I, I think people wouldn't have cared, but people are really angry that the Twitter account tweeted it out as if it was okay. I mean, it, it's... Oh, the funny clip of yeah. Pierce Morgan telling his little joke? I think it's all like I get why people get angry about that shit, but I think it's stupid to get angry about it. Oh yeah, who gives a crap? I mean, don't you? People got to realize that at some point, when people do that kind of shit, they're looking for that attention and that mm -hmm. bad press yeah. because the bad press is good press. Yeah, dude, or you're... they're just super insecure. It's like uh, it's like people that are professional pr provocateurs mm -hmm. that just say shit that's like really not politically correct or really you know offensive, and then people go. Oh, did you hear what this guy said? And then, you know, he wins because they get, their, they get their names out. Yeah. <laughs> what if P.S. Morgan actually is a penguin? Did anyone Bro. think of that? Like, Jay coming in with a hot take. Like, oh, what my if, God. I'm, I'm looking at it from a different angle. That's like, a good point. Is a Jay's what if we should believe him? Yeah. 
We should probably believe him. Yeah. yeah. Let's all tweet, we support Pess Morgan. <laughs> and then he just ta- takes off a mask and he's an actual penguin. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He's not even trans. He's just genuinely a penguin. Yeah, like if you see Pierce penguin. Morgan in the street, dude, just offer him a bunch of sardines. Mm-hmm. Say, here's a lot of raw <laughs> just fish. Throw them up the- yeah, th- <laughs> throw it at him. See if he catches it with his penguin mouth. I heard when Pierce Morgan was having a kid, he used to rest it on a, on his feet. Yeah, he used to mm-hmm. just sit on it, it an, all day. Yeah. <laughs> it was just an and, and he did it because... That's what penguins. That's what do. a male penguin's job yeah. is. I respect him as a yeah. penguin yeah. male. What I, I like about penguins everyone. is that they didn't get pissed off at Pierce for saying this. I know. I yeah, know. they're pretty chill. You I know, need to learn from the penguins, maybe. The penguins, they're, they're very chill. Are wise, you know. They don't go on Twitter when they get outraged yeah, 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 yeah. and complain yeah. about it because they're normal. Yeah, they just murder just, Pierce Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They just chill out. They chill out in their melting ice block. And uh, oh, again, again, have yeah. a good one. Oh. Watch their home slowly fall apart. Yeah. yeah. Still yeah. not complaining, by the way. <laughs> yeah, not Still complaining. Not even faced about it. Yeah. Like, well, it's life, you know. Like, you know, we got to keep moving on. Seriously, we should, we should be them. more like penguins. Oh, yeah. For yeah, real. We should learn from the penguin. I yeah. think we need a social justice warrior that's just a permanent staple of the podcast. Does anyone want to take up that position? It's got to be you. Yeah. You tick all the boxes. True. Your hair's dyed. You got True. tattoos. You got fucking weird nails. I got fingernails <laughs> that you can stick down a urethra. Yeah, take, the, take the thing off your mic and, and run your nails along it. Oh, oh don't do that. Uh, Come on. Oh. No, the problem is I can't take it off very easily because of my nails. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what do the nails actually the make dilemma. difficult? For the audio listeners, Toby has like pointy nails. I have claws now. right now. You show them to the cameras. They're not like super pointy, but they're pretty pointy. Like they're kind of cat woman. They're long. Like that would hurt pointy. if you scratched. Yeah, if you swipe you someone, it feels you amazing running them through your hair. Oh, mm. It feels like one of those things that you, the, the head orgasm is. Oh, mm. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I, should just sharp, I should just sharpen my nails with an nail file. I don't think we need to do that. Uh, let Toby have his thing, all right? Like... You need to copy him. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's just such a queen. He's such an inspiring queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're weird, though. But I don't know if I like them or not. I mean, but is it annoying? Do you feel... They... I, if I had those on my fingers, I would just want to, like, flick them like, yeah, all the time. Yeah, you feel them a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, them I've been playing with them a lot. I only got them yesterday. When you're, but, when um, you're on your phone, you know, sending uh, messages, are you like... You sound... No, no, but <laughs> yeah. you sound like um, just everything I've been doing has been made me feel like I'm a bitch from a movie. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> real, real tappy. Your yeah. tweets have been like twenty percent more sassy, so mm. I think this is why twenty percent more sass. <laughs> That's the dream. Tears. I got them because <laughs> the most fucking <laughs> tea. Mm. Lauren has them, and she was like, Lauren from the office. Uh, she was like, you should get them because I got a tattoo that has long nails. Right. And uh, and I was like, fuck it, I'll get them. How Playing, long did it take to do them? Uh. Like an hour, really. I sat down. They get these little, <laughs> they get, <laughs> they get these little things that look like half a like a straw cut down the middle, uh-huh. uh huh. And then they place it on your nails, and it's just like a long piece of plastic. Oh. And, and then they put this like weird, uh, acrylic shit on top, and it makes it hard. Damn, mm, like damn. me, yeah. Right now, and then they sharpen. Nice. It. Nice. It's turning you on. <laughs> My nails. It reminds me of um, when we got our nails done in Fiji. Mm. That was a really great experience. Got our massage. That was, <laughs> that yeah, was that so spa fun. That spa was fucking I awesome. was so fucking high. I got oiled up. I was, was so wasn't high. Wasn't there a crab in it though? Oh yeah, in the spa, oh, yeah. the like fucking yeah, yeah. yeah. the hot tub. The there was fuck? a fucking crab. I'm like, what's that smell? And like, I'm moving my my feet around, and I, I feel something. Like, what the fuck is this? And I and I pull it out. It's like a, it was a crab, but it was red. It was Steamed. cooked. It was literally cooked in the hot cooked. tub. And I was like, oh shit! And I just threw it. I threw it to the side. And sure the ladies, it wasn't just a red crab. No, it was it literally was like a cooked ass crab. That spa it, cooked. It, the spa, the spa actually cooked it. Oh, that's so that funny. was a hot ass spa, dude. I was sunburned as fuck, so I wasn't really in. There. How good was it though? Like getting in the fucking sauna and Dude, shit. Dude, the man. ice, the ice was fucking awesome. Oh. That that entire ice room where we just showered ourselves in ice. We didn't get the ice we didn't room. Get the ice. No, oh, it was I literally see. it was like a three a three way thing. There was the spa in you the middle, the sauna on the right, <laughs> and then the yes, and then a uh, a little ice room mm-hmm. with a bunch of cold water that pours from the ceiling, and then like literal buckets of ice that you just rub all over yourself. Interesting. So you'd go from the sauna. In- Did you guys get many pities? No, no, we yeah. just got massages. We did. We got mani pedis. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I had no yeah. like shit, dude. I had no fingernails at that point. Now I have fingernails. But now they they clean them up. They make they do like all the, the, the cuticles. Yeah. Mm. Do they do these fucked up things. 
Yeah. Your claws. Even these. Dude, yeah. I, I could not stand getting a pedicure because my toe... I have like... Uh, you had an ingrown toenail. had an ingrown toenail. Yeah. Really? Oh, well, not, not like anything yeah. severe or gross looking, but it's just like... It was uncomfortable. Just, it, it was like in it the was skin. In a bit. So you couldn't see it from the outside, yeah. but like it just fucking hurt if you touched it. Oh. So she's like trying to like file it. I'm yeah. like, ah! Ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got Tourette's. Like literally, I was screaming. Like you're yeah, genuinely, I was yeah. like, yeah. that was what it was like. But oh. I was like, it's okay. I've talked about my ingrown oh, toenail right. surgeries, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. A, I don't, <laughs> yeah. don't know if we need to get yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Get those long fucking scissors and just go all the way to the root after they fucking. Oh man, this sucks. But so good yummy. once it's done, right? It, once it's done, your fucking toenail literally can't grow out anymore. Like they kill the the. Like the, the, the nerve endings that produce the toenail on that side of the, uh, the why, nail. Why the fuck does your body decide to do that in the first place? It's like, you know uh, what, fuck you, yeah. I'm going to do my own it shit. It just hates you. It's <laughs> just like poor genetics that we simply let survive because medical advancements have made that possible. That's why we should only let rich people reproduce. Because they have rich genetics. <laughs> I agree. Poor genetics. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of rich people with like fucked up genetics, let's be honest. Yeah. Everyone that's rich is incestuous. Fact. <laughs> Guys, it's the Misfits Podcast. We're coming at you with some hard hitting facts here. Yeah. <laughs> Habsburg Chin Gang, bro. What's that? Habsburg. You know the Habsburg family? No. The very old, like, royal family uh, in, fuck, man, it must have been like medieval times, fucking Renaissance period. It was uh, the Habsburgs. Uh, would only fuck each other, like their cousins, keep their bloodline pure. Uh -huh. hey. And the Habsburg chin is like since they got so incestuous, like their chin would jut out. They'd have these uh, like these massive underbites. They could barely speak. They could barely breathe. Uh, they were <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I would have fucked no, my cousin. Yeah, they were <laughs> fucked. Like they were fucked up. I and watched it. a I watched a video on it, man. Uh, Damn. They they in, in the, yeah so. They're fucked. <laughs> Incest is fucked. Keeping the bloodline <laughs> pure. That is why you should only, under extreme circumstances, fuck your third cousin. Only if you're really yeah. desperate. If you're really, really your desperate. Third, cousin? Third, third or maybe fourth. Maybe fourth. I mean, I, I think you're good by your fourth. <laughs> How does that all work? Like, what? your second cousin is, uh, what is that, a cousin of your cousin? Um... I can't. I'm gonna die, dude. My brain's gonna explode. I don't know. I, I don't what, know. What is I'm a second cousin? I, don't know. I haven't. I haven't thought about it. I haven't. I haven't thought uh, this far ahead. I've never had the desire to fuck any of my cousins. I, Probably because most of my cousins aren't hot. When I was younger, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa. They don't watch this. When I was younger, I met a girl. Uh, she was just like friends with a friend girl, and I was introduced to her. And I like, I talked to her for a bit, and uh, I was kind of into her. And then it, I found out, like, a couple months later, that she was my cousin's cousin. Mm. And I was like, how related to me does that... I mean, it turns <laughs> yeah, out... It's like a moral dilemma. She was like... <laughs> <laughs> there was no blood relative. Like, she was my dad's... She was my dad's brother's uh, uh, wife's or sister's <laughs> daughter. Zero, so, yeah, zero, zero blood. Zero yeah. okay. blood relation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so but it yeah, was such a weird it, thing Toby. to find out. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I'm going back to New Zealand tomorrow. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> More power to you. Yeah, I haven't fucked any of my cousins. Yeah, neither. you're missing out. Neither. I mean, neither. I feel like I'm kind of the odd one out. I don't know, just in general. My cousin's giving birth as we speak. Really? As you speak. As we speak. As we speak. Oh, so if we stop screaming? Congratulations. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> stop I, I would assume so. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. That's you know what else is cool? Um, it's my birthday tomorrow. Uh, so anyways, like what, yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah. what's been going on with you, Toby? Ah, uh, just been chilling. What about you, Mace? What about you, Mace? Oh, uh, just chilling, yeah. Swagger? Yeah, I hear it's some faggot's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my you birthday. You know what, guys? <laughs> my birthday yeah. was last week. <laughs> you know what? Since, since it's my birthday tomorrow, you guys are running the show. Wait, yeah. it's your birthday? Happy, can I get a dap right up for, for, for Cameron's birthday? Okay. Hell Hell yeah. 47. What are you guys doing? Can 47, you guys dap him up? No, you guys no, just, no, 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 no. No, easy we don't damp get, up. You're not in yeah. dapping distance. Yeah. But yeah, I'm 47, dude. Yeah, 47 dude. years old. How does it feel to be a fucking boomer? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Birthday. Oh, it's helium, bro. Recycled, uh, recycled balloons. Yeah, those, yeah, give, me give me those one of those. totally on from my birthday. <laughs> well, I'm loving the sound. I just need one. Oh, yeah. I just need... Uh, I just... What is that? This, uh, audio listeners, we've got a bunch of balloons on the table now that Toby got for us. 
which are from ages ago. They're from, I thought they're from Ryan's birthday. No, but they're, they're from, from my birthday. So they they reuse them for Ryan's birthday as well. Wait, swags. Can no, I no, no, these are. Uh, I'll, I'll wait, let you hit the soul me. Recently. Oh shit! Oh, we're hitting the helium. Oh god. Hey guys, what's going on? Not wow. nice, uh, hey, it's the me. Podcast. It's the Misfits Podcast. It's Alvin and the motherfucking Chipmunks. Wow, <laughs> sounds like the view in here now. <laughs> Honey, if you want to poke a hole in your husband's condom, it's your right. It's your right Dude, to reproduction. How fucked up is Wendy Williams? Have you seen that clip of her? Like uh, Maisie Williams? Uh, uh, Wendy. Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. Is it Wendy Williams? Uh, oh, she's, she's, something. That. she's got a show. Can I have a hit of that, bro? <laughs> Is that the clip where she's like, no, go, no, go, no, bro. no uh, so <laughs> basically, like, <laughs> man, uh, I'm just literally like recreating a YouTube clip. I'm right fucking here, lightheaded. But... Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, up, man. Wow, so high on helium, dude. Mason, fuck. You know, fuck, fuck Wendy Williams. She doesn't need any more attention. Mason, you went camping recently with Chad and Max, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Let it go away for a second. How was that, bro? How was take that? deep breaths. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> yeah, camping was mad. Yeah, it, I can't tell. Did you I'm go for one night? Nah, we went. So we we got the camper van and shit. You I got a can't camper tell van. It's still fun. <laughs> it Don't worry about it. Don't worry Just about it. Just take three good. three deep breaths. Sounds like he's scoping in on them, like Call of Duty or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, we got the van and um, the plan was to go camping out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. And um, we got one of those wicked vans, the ones that oh, like yeah. graffitied and shit. Oh, and right. sick. Wait, what? It's a literally just a van, like a normal van with spray paint all over it. And they're, yeah. they're shit, right? Yeah, they're shit. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> like in the insides, like all graffiti and stuff. And the it's fuck? all like, yeah, it's, it's pretty scuffed. But um, yeah, we got the van and we're gonna drive. We're going back to the cool shirts office to uh, like pick pick Scott up yeah. and that. And uh -huh. um, we get we pull up to like where the school grounds is because there's like a school next to the uh office. Yeah. Uh -huh. and we pull in the, and Chad's like swinging through and pulls through the gate and fucking scrapes along the whole side of it and the window <laughs> sh the window shatters. What? Oh, the the whole window no. shattered. Yeah, and then and then we're just all like because it just happened like. Like fucking that, dude. Yeah. It was fucking quick. Wait, how did the window shatter? Just from the noise? Or no, what? no, from from banging on the side of the school gate. Oh. Like when he swung in, because the, the space was pretty tight though. But wow. he, he kind of fuck? flung in mindlessly. Did you get it on camera? Or? No, we didn't. Oh no, my God. God. But the whole side of the mirror was shattered. So like the next <laughs> two hours, three hours after that, we're just spending all this time trying to get the window fucking fixed. No just way. Putting duct tape in a trash bag on it. Yeah, no. He, I had the Snapchat of him like taping it all up. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so fucked. And but, this happened before you even left. Yep. Before we even left, and I was off like, "Off to a great start." Oh, we were planning to go up to um, fucking, was it? Where's it called? Uh, um, I don't know, but it was like somewhere with like cliff edges and shit, mm -hmm. a lot of beaches and that. And like, cause that happened, I was like, "Chad, this is a sign not to go." Because <laughs> Chad, <laughs> Chad didn't moment. have his license and he was driving. Oh my god! So, how did we, you rent it without a license? Uh, well, I don't think I can legally okay, say that. Right. Yeah, no wait, wait, so who's in the van? Is it you, Chad, and Hughes, and Max Mofo and uh, Scott? Yeah, me, us four and the um super mega boys. Oh, true. Oh, oh, right. right. Yeah, we went with them. They were fucking cool guys, man. That was sick. That was sick. Guys. I, yeah, Good I should have. I should have met them while they were here. They're gone though, right? Yeah, yeah. they're gone. I uh, think they're gonna be a Twitch con. Yeah, we'll see them in LA. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. But, it was really cool hanging out, meeting with them, and um, just the camping trip was fucking skits or whatever. It was mad. <laughs> so <laughs> well, yeah. What the fuck happened? You got to the destination? The yeah, we, place? we. So we. So Chad, of course, Chad again. Fucking, we um, we're gonna pull up to this one place, and it was by this time because we got the window fixed and stuff. It was getting like late and shit, mm -hmm. and we pulled up to this. Uh, so he's texting this guy saying like, "Yeah, is it all good if you can leave the gate open and stuff?" And um. He went, we ended up pulling up and the gate was closed. So we were like stuck in this place for like an hour where like we had nowhere to camp. Right. And then this other guy replied and he's like, um, yeah, I've left the gate open for you so you guys can drive in. So we drove in, fucking took us like an hour to find the gate. We finally got in and then all was going well. We we're making our own little campfire and shit <laughs> with bricks and that. And then the car gets bogged. Bogged, yeah, fully bogged. Like the mud was slipping up and shit. And like, is this like a campground or just like a random uh, field? No, no campgrounds, okay, campgrounds, okay. but it was just like wet, muddy, and shit, right? Right, and um, yeah, it got all fucked up. And we all had to like push the van and shit. 
<laughs> it's like move it out of the way and we were fucking pushing it and like um one of the super mega boys was slamming on the um accelerator <laughs> And like mud was just flying all over <laughs> oh, us. Like we were oh, fucking covered in it. That's terrible. But we finally got it out and then yeah. all went well after that. But yeah. So what did you set up tents or did you sleep in the van? Slept all of us slept in the van. What? Yeah, there was there was mad space in it. I slept in the the passenger seat in the front, but Chad slept on the roof. There was like this fold out bit on the van that you could uh-huh. like sleep on the roof with. Wait, so did he have any shelter or just Nah nah? He nah. just slept on the Wait, canopy? Yeah, what? slept on the top. What? And I'm I don't know if he got pissed on by bats or not, but I I reckon I'm calling him might have. Do bats just dead ass piss while they're flying? They piss while they're asleep, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, they, they shit too. Piss just in the and tr- come. Like hanging from a tree. Yeah, they pissing piss shit upside shit down. Do bats come? come? Yeah. Really? Bats totally come. Dude. I think everything comes, though. Ba- <laughs> I mean, in one way or another, everything comes. <laughs> uh, anyways, Chad's George. sleeping on the fucking roof of this van. Yes, Chad's sleeping on the roof and fucking. And we're you're, all, all, you're all just like cozied up like sardines. In the yeah, van. yeah, we're all cozy and shit. And Chad's just on the roof and he, his snoring was like echoing the fucking woods. It was <laughs> fucked. And yeah, that's just like. So did, did you sleep through the whole night or what? Ah, uh, no, no, nah, not really. Because I, <laughs> I was, I was like sitting while sleeping, so yeah. I struggled to get to sleep. But, True, but otherwise, everyone else got a pretty good sleep. How so. long did you camp for? Just one night. Ah, just one. So what? What happened in the morning then? Uh we woke up. Fucking Chad was on the breakfast mend, getting us eggs, bacon, all that good stuff. Was he cooking it or just out, out getting some? No, no, he was full cooking it on what? the on the fireplace. Yeah, he was cooking on, on, on the charcoals and shit cool. on the fire. So I was like, I was like, fuck yeah, go Chad. <laughs> and um, yeah, had breakfast, fucking cleaned up all the shit, and then we just packed up and left. Oh, damn. Cool. But um, fuck, yeah. I've got to give credit to one of the super mega boys. Ryan was fucking. He was taming the fire all night, and he was really? doing the fucking amazing job at it. He was like feeding it sticks because we um. We had this little thing where, like, we'd go on stick adventures and shit, and we'd just go <laughs> to collect sticks and that. It was fucking... It was just cool. I don't were know. you boys on the piss? Oh, yeah. We were pissed as fuck. <laughs> There's actual footage of it coming out. Um, Hell, yeah. I think Super, Super Mega will be uploading it. Oh, like, sick. You guys should definitely check it out. It's going to be fucking for funny. sure. And... Um, yeah, no, it's just like we were just swinging shit around, just throwing shit everywhere. <laughs> like it was just, it was just a good night overall. I can't wait good to. Shit. I really hope we see the Super Mega guys in LA. I yeah. love those fucking oh, guys. They're they fucking. They're cool they're fun. guys. <laughs> I think I met Ryan uh, at Crown, but I think we were both pretty drunk, <laughs> so we'll probably have a proper introduction sometime soon. True. How did the camping trip compare to our camping trip from like? Last year, remember? Oh, ours was way better. You reckon? Yeah, yeah you fucking oath. I mean, both times you slept in a car. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know, true. <laughs> that was dumb. But, yeah, but... Nah, ours, our one was way better, dude. We played mafia and shit, cooked yeah, sausages. on the beach. Yeah. It was really sick. That was a very fun That was trip. actually pretty wholesome, all things yeah. considered. I mean, it was scuffed as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Horrid. Was that the same? That was the same uh, time that we dropped acid, right? Yeah, same trip. Yeah, it was literally the same yeah. trip. Same trip. Fuck. Wow. We dropped yeah. acid. We dropped ass. We really <laughs> did that shit. Last year was wild, dude. Yeah, yeah. no shit. Oh, we got some catching up to do. We do. <laughs> we have uh, four goodies just chilling for whenever <sighs> Matt wants to I'm show keen, up. Dog, I'm keen, man. You gotta but wait. Like, gotta wait. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. I guess. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get up to some shenanigans at TwitchCon. It's gonna maybe, be crazy. Maybe Black Tar Heroin. <laughs> considering, dude. Yeah. Considering. Definitely considering. Hard to find, <laughs> what but the considering. Fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What legit actually is the Black Tar part of the heroin? I actually don't want to know. I always say it sounds more funny than just saying heroin. <laughs> yeah. But what the fuck even is that? I'm assuming it's just really dirty heroin. Probably. Uh, yeah, but hopefully TwitchCon will be good. There's gonna be well, it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna yeah, be meeting I'm, up with the Goop people. I'm gonna uh, be punching on with cunts. What do, you, what do you mean punching on with cunts? What does that mean? What is that slang? For? <laughs> just gonna be punching on with cunts. What does that mean? It means though? he wants to fight people, I think, right? <laughs> nah, nah, I don't want to fight anybody. But if anyone starts me, I'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what does punching on actually mean? Like as a Aussie slang? Punching, just, just fucking just punching, fucking punching on. Punching people. Just, no, but no, but like, it's just a, it's a metaphor. What does it mean? It's just a fight. Yeah. You're, so it is actually fighting. Yeah. Yes. Or those cunts over there are on a punch on. I thought they're it would be like hanging on. out, like punching on or something, or like nah, getting nah, on. Nah, nah, nah. They're beating the shit out of each other. You're literally talking about beating up, up cunts. <laughs> That's funny. Why that do is. you want to <laughs> beat people up? Because cunts talking shit on the internet, man. <laughs> <Go> <laughs> out. Who's talking shit? <laughs> Fucking Carson. I seen him talking <laughs> smack about you, yeah. yeah. dude. I was playing. Um, I played Minecraft Monday today with Pokemon. Carson was so funny, dude. He was like, he kept joining. Um. Like first of all, in the Hunger Games, um, 
he like specifically goes after both of us obviously he's yeah. like following us around and for those of you who don't know there's like a safe period for the first minute of the hunger games where like you can't do any damage so he was just following me and pokey and then as soon as the limit went up he just went at us with like an iron sword <laughs> and like i turn around i see him coming i fucking murder him and like you know i was very glad that i got the kill but like in the next five seconds he joins the lobby like screaming and complaining and <laughs> overplaying the bit that Is he's there like a clip yeah there's a clip, there's oh, a few good clips. Say that. he was like very much playing up this like character of being he's <laughs> so good at being the biggest little shit ever yeah but no, he's like specifically playing like this weird incel like like hormonal 14 year old <laughs> character <laughs> he was like crying and shit he's like screaming at us it was good content bro it was really funny i can't wait to meet carson irl and, and the rest of uh the goop squad Mm. He's exactly the same in Dude, person Carson, as he's online. Carson is really good at crying on command. He is. It's like a great acting skill. Because I, I saw a fucking uh, clip from his... He did a 24-hour stream, I think. Yeah. And he was like, I just want the, I just want to end this. And he started to cry. Yeah. And a bunch of people, like, it was posted. And a bunch of people on Twitter were saying, like, like no, this is real. Like, oh, I hope he's okay. I hate I hate seeing him cry. And, <laughs> and oh, this is because of Pokemon and Fish 100%. <laughs> and people actually, like, believe that shit. What? Yeah. So I asked Carson, I go... I, I sent him the, the link. I go... Hey, is this legit? And he just replies with like LOL, all caps, ha ha. He's like, nah, dude, it's just a fucking bit. <laughs> yeah. and I was like, you should read these, co- these, these the I'm like, you should read these co- these fucking comments. And he's like, yeah, it's fucking retarded. If you're ever unsure with Carson if something's a bit or not, it's a bit. It's a bit. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> like, it's probably a bit. Uh, he keeps freaking me out with his messages. He keeps going like, <laughs> hey, uh, do you want to do a stream like where I can stream with you and Pokey? Or would that be cringe? And I was like, I don't know, dude. Like, it's it's up to you. And he's like, he just keeps going like, am I scaring you? I have plans. I'm like, am I scaring you? <laughs> and I'm like, should what I be fuck? scared? And he keeps going like, I have a plan, Cameron. I have a really great plan. He's so weird in it's, the best oh, way. He's so awesome. <sighs> So yeah, it's gonna be very good to to meet uh, him and the boys. His synergy, man. Oh my, his energy is chaotic to like the the, the biggest extent. <laughs> it's so weird that he's straight edge as well. What, like no drugs and stuff? You no mean? drugs, no alcohol. It's mm. really boring. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I I would probably be pretty uh, pretty straight edged if I didn't meet you fucks. To be honest with you. Yeah, but then you wouldn't have any fun. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I guess I'm actually very curious to see like where my career would end up if like. I was straight edge the whole time. You know what I mean? Probably in a worse position. Yeah, probably sad. Because a lot of, I think, the uh, comedy, a lot of the stories and stuff comes around being in a, like, you know, fucked up positions and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, would, we would never have done the Poland story. Yeah. If we if we weren't fucked. I mean, you weren't there for it. I wasn't there for that. But, I mean, there were so many stories with us and so many good times that I've had where I was, like, definitely out of my comfort zone. And in the mm-hmm. moment, maybe not even enjoying myself. But then the next day, I'm like, fuck, that was crazy. Like, yeah. we were, like camping, for instance. Yeah. Like, we were miserable falling asleep camping. <laughs> yeah. But it was fucking hilarious. And yeah. there were some really good, funny <laughs> moments, like, through that experience. And now I look back and I just remember, like, that was so crazy that we did that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that we cooked sausages on a pan. Sand. Yeah, with sausage. sand in it. Sand yeah. and sausages. <laughs> and that we, like pitched our tents we arrived to camping like at fucking midnight oh, that was so it was cold. so cold the ground was hard it was hard to set up the tent i had to set up the tent for mason and jay and they were like nah we don't need a blow up mattress we need a we don't need a blow up mattress <laughs> like on the ground microscopic yeah. mountains yeah, yeah you guys you guys <laughs> tried to blow it up and and jay's just there going like i've got asthma i've got asthma <laughs> i can't I do it <laughs> <laughs> asthmatic speaking oh. of twitchcon TwitchCon's always, like, looked so weird to me. Well, not weird, but, like, different to other cons. Because, like, when when you look at coverage of TwitchCon, it's always just content creators. Yeah. Whereas, like, all the other uh, conventions, it's, like, very much, you know, uh, fan and people-oriented. But it feels like with TwitchCon, it is literally, like, just a bunch of content creators hanging out in a big building. The thing about Twitch is that it's so much more tightly knit as a community than you Totally. Because... 100%. Everyone, it's such a raw platform. Twitch is like all gaming, you know? Yeah. All and gaming also, and everyone all... goes into each other's chats and yeah. memes and hangs out. It's more of a, it's more of like a personal experience. Twitch you know, is, of... it's, sorry, I was going to say Twitch is gaming and titties, first of all. Thank you. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> yeah, that right. Those that. are the two main categories. <laughs> sorry. Two of, my, two of my favorite things, gaming and titties. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love Twitch so much. Yeah, but I mean, because these people are live all the time, like they're, they're way more exposed they're way more out there you know obviously there's still like 
fake people on Twitch, I'm sure, but it feels like the community as a whole is more like a family than yeah. YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Where YouTube, it's kind of like a lot of it's behind closed doors, a lot of it. Whereas Twitch, it's like it just feels like everything is always out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, everything's a live the, show. Like yeah. with the the huge Twitch creators, they've all got that kind of big like family of smaller Twitch creators, and it's just like there's so many crossovers and and so many collabs and so many people that are just raw friends, and it's it's such a different platform. Yeah, I think TwitchCon would be super interesting. Yeah, we've never. I'm been excited before. because there's going to be so many fucking people there, dude. We have. Us, there's Goop, like with Carson, Travis, and all those guys. Mm-hmm. There's Raccoon Eggs, JC the Caster, and their mm. friends. And basically all the big Twitch streamers. Yeah, the Pokey Main. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck off, Sweat Sauce. <laughs> 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 Fuck off. I want Dr. Disrespect to take photos of me in a bathroom. I want to uh, take a photo with him because uh, he's a tall motherfucker. I want him to carry <laughs> me in his arms. Dude, is Ninja going to be at TwitchCon? <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Dude, I hope. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. Mexican, it's just Mexican. ninja. Yeah. Poppy just, Chula. Just ninja pon pon in at Mexican. <laughs> That's all there is to offer. I'm not seeing enough <laughs> movement. I thought you were saying Mexican. Yeah, Mexican. <laughs> no, that's something different. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's going to be lit, though. We're going to meet a whole bunch of people, and I'm sure that there are going to be some crazy stories out of this trip. Yeah, if the uh, dude, our Airbnb, crash. bro. Our Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, Mason. <laughs> I'm full scared the plane's going to crash. Fuck off, dude. If the plane crashes, we'll survive. We'll be the only two verified survivors in a raft. We'll float maybe for about three or four or five days until we go onto a remote specific island. And then reenact the Rusfit. we'll reenact the Rusfit. <laughs> or a <laughs> bit, so you'll get an eating gun. Yeah. You'll play at the forest, right? It's just that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah true. true. Like open luggage, easy. Yeah. Just yeah. VR, IRL. Dude, it'd be so, it'd be like so most lit. IRL, <laughs> so lit going onto an island. There's just like an indigenous tribe there that's trying to kill you, so you can like murder them in self defense and get away with it. This is swagger talking so about awesome. shit that he thinks he's going to be way better at than he actually would. Dude, if you <laughs> drop me in the woods with a hatchet, I could live there for about maybe 14, 15 days. Yeah, but you can't bring hatchets on planes, dude. That's <laughs> that's all <laughs> I will. I will simply take a rock and hit it with another rock until I have something that's sharp, and then I'll use that to cut down a tree. Why you, do you need to cut down trees? Because I need to make a fucking shelter. I don't think you realize how tired you're going to be after swinging a rock at a tree like three times. No, it's very easy. <laughs> it's very easy. It's like a tree, I, saw, I saw a half-naked Australian man on the internet do this yeah, over that, that, and that over guy's again. jacked. I he's not jacked. He's pretty jacked. He's, he's got that natural muscle. He's lean. He's no, got, he's lean. He's got he's that cardio, jacked. dude. He's, he's not bodybuilder jacked, but you no, can tell he's, he's strong as fuck, dude. Yeah, dude, but it's not about... When, when you're out in a survival situation, you need to work smart, not hard. If you're working hard, then you're dumb. If you're yeah. working smart, then you're smart. You have to have a jacked brain. And if you want to live, you need to be smart <laughs> and hard. Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't move. I would I just, think I'd that make my shelter. I'd, I'd maybe get like my phone and, and just no. make sure that I use it as a little reflection so that the sunlight can uh, hit a plane or a helicopter and then they can pick me up. Dude, that's actually smart. You're underestimating how anxious you're going to be. Oh, no. I'll be, I'll be fucked. You will be like, <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, panic I'll, be, I'll be mentally fucked. And you'll be like, oh, my God. And you'll start thinking about home. You'll start thinking about no, your family. You'll start like, thinking about the people you like, like and care about. A, I'll be like, this is a dream come true. I could finally be like... I shouldn't have survived. Like I, I could be on like those discovery shows and I get interviewed. Yeah, I shouldn't be alive yeah, and get on like shot. one of those shows. They have, like a documentary <laughs> made. Clout. I'll probably like right before I'm about to get rescued, I'll like chop my own arm off for the for the dramatics, and then I'll get a sick new robo arm when I come back, and then I'll <laughs> be so good for my brand. <laughs> True. Know? Then I could face yeah. reveal, and then I'll have the robo arm. Be Cyborg my swagger. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Cyborg souls. You've really thought this through. I'm beginning to uh, think we well, should just do it. I guess yeah, we're yeah, hoping yeah, the plane crashes. That's it. We're crashing the plane. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah. so you're on plane crashing sure. duty. I'm got, I'll make sure the plane crashes. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <kidding. laughs> imagine the plane the actually crashes cut now. The <laughs> imagine if it actually crashes. <laughs> oh my God. He's not, not right. allowed back just, into just America. For, just for the record, I'm not a terrorist. Um, I would never do something like that. You fucking You can't be a terrorist. You're a white American. Uh, Excuse me? Pretty like most terrorists nowadays are white Americans. Social commentary. Uh, no, but for real, like let's say the plane crashes. Uh, what's your first move, Mason? Um, probably find you boys. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're dead. What happens then? You're dead. <laughs> oh, dead. Fuck! I'm laying on my back and hoping I can still float. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, too dense. What no, would, what I can float in salt water, but yeah. I can't float in regular. Water. You can float, dude. We test that in Fiji. Remember, yeah. you literally floated. I did. I was yeah, like, I'm doing, doing it. it. I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah. Look, everyone knows you just pick up a rock and you mic spam. That's yes. how you survive. 
You, you, you go up to a clan base and ask for a bolty. Yeah. I'll sell, you go up to the indigenous tribe and go like, oh, you, need, you guys need a slave? There'll be no one there, dude. It'll be a, a remote slave. island. You need a slave? I need a slave for you. Right? Slave for you, boys. Yeah, dude, yeah. Those islands, like actually landing on a Pacific island, it must suck so much dick. Because there's nothing there besides biting insects on yeah. the beach. And it's hot, and there's usually no cover, and there's usually no vegetation, and you just, you're all kinds of fucked. Well, I mean, people have done it in the past. <laughs> yeah, they have. He's got dumped on an island, and <laughs> a lot of now we're so here. A lot, of it's, a lot of it's World War II, yeah. like pilots and shit. They talk about like their their training, their survivalist training, because a lot of pilots would go down, and you know, they'd be on their raft or whatever. They'd land in a Pacific island, in the middle of nowhere. They have no way of contacting, so they just have to stay alive. You know, some guy lived on coconuts for like I think seventy three days. Wow. Just be a better pilot, lol. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> God, true. Just right. Dodge the bullets. I feel like yeah, if, if I survive long enough. I'd become, I'd come back as a pyromaniac because I'd just be using <laughs> fire for everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just Burn come back and be like, See, look what I can do. <laughs> uh, like, I just, because like, what else are you going to, like, how are you going to kill bugs and shit? Mate, like, you can't just, just, squash just them. make fire. You can't yeah. just change class like that IRL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, oh. It becomes a maid. <laughs> <laughs> Starts casting spells. How is he doing that, man? <laughs> what <laughs> Team Fortress class is Mason? Uh, Scout. Scout. Yeah, yeah, you're a scout yeah. for sure. I what don't even know what scout is. All right, what about Jay? Jay I have is. No idea. I Ooh, neither have I. <laughs> oh man, that's actually this is actually a good ass question. I like this hypothetical. Yeah. I kind of feel like Jay's almost engineer, but maybe not. Yeah. Swagger, Swagger would be engineer. Mm, heavy. Sw- <laughs> Rude. <laughs> no, no, not like that. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Swagger. The Heavy's the tallest character. Heavy's a huge. No, it definitely cut. doesn't make any <laughs> sense. What would I be? Heavy. No. Spy. Scout? I think I feel like I would either be sniper or spy. Spy. This is a great spy. question to ask News Elk. True. If anyone doesn't know what TF2 is and uh, who's listening to this, sorry, this is going to be Team no Fortress. Sense to if, if, if you don't know what Team about. Fortress 2 is, then you are too young to be watching this fucking podcast. True. What would I be? Demo man. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, I find that's funny. All right, moving on. <laughs> can you explain it? Yeah, can you explain, can you explain that? it? Demo man's black. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> it's not that funny. I know it wasn't, but you know, I said Damn it. it. <laughs> I'm leaving, bro. I'm out, dude. I'm out. Uh, uh, I get it. It He's wasn't black. He's black, bro. <laughs> Makes so much sense now. Uh, uh, right, dude. Fuck you guys, dude. It's his birthday tomorrow. We can't. I'm be so, like dude. I'm so tired right now. I'm sorry, dude. I have to piss so badly, but I'm I'm, I'm hanging in there. How uh, long have we been recording? When do people start jacking off as a species? Uh, I'm assuming it's been. I think everybody, every single monkey ancestor has probably beat their shmeat. But like, at what point are they? And and the, how is it working when they're like in a little, uh, you know, tribe or whatever? Are they beating it behind a tree. Like, what's uh, going they're, probably, on? they're probably just beating it, beating yeah. the the shmeat. You have to just, understand, Fitz. That's the the sexual nature of everything only became taboo. I know. Re- Semi recently. I know, but like, it's just weird to think of like people that early on, like I don't know. Beating are we shmeet. talking about I mean, or like yeah. fingering the clit? It's basic human nature. <laughs> yeah. You know, you touch your pee pee, the pee pee swells, and then you're like, oh, I'll just fucking smack it around. And oh, shit, this feels great. I'm going to do this every single day, multiple times a day. I wonder if like early humans ever had productivity issues because of jerking off. Or probably, if- probably not. Yeah. They probably had productivity issues because they were dying of ligma mm. and social media. What's ligma? <laughs> it's uh, actually a really terrible disease. Oh yeah. Ah. Yeah. Lick oh, yeah. my lick my fucking nuts. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's, oh my that's, gosh. The, that's the actual sign. He got me. No, no. It's, he I got think, me. Oh, oh, oh. No, I think Joe had that actually. Really? Who's yeah. Joe? Joe Mama. Oh, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Flipping heck. Oh god. Oh my I got gosh. Him. I got him. Got him. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm oh, actually man. still reeling from the loss of that Demon Man joke. Uh, yeah. St- my head's spinning. Why don't you have to bring it back up? Uh, just because if I didn't, I would I wouldn't fall, fall asleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be? Is that going to be like one of the jokes that you, you just think of like a better punchline? There's like no better punchline. That is my worst joke ever, right here on the Misfit Show, and that's also the is title really? of this episode. Was it? Was it actually a bad joke? Uh, thinking back on it, it wasn't or a bad like, joke. Or it was were just, we just not getting it? it? No, it was just extremely poorly executed. What? <laughs> I just don't understand. What, why. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think the the worst video you guys have made on your channel is? 
Um, I know what mine is. It's an unlisted video of mm. me playing a horror <laughs> game. I was just thinking that. I love that video. Yeah. It's so funny. What about you, Toby? Uh, I don't know. Probably one of my cringe gambling sponsor videos. But mm. if we yeah. if we exclude that... Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm out of it, dude. I almost just fucking <laughs> spilled my water all over me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there are videos on my channel that just did really poorly, but yeah. I still think are fucking hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like my getting over it video. Oh, no. Like, just videos that you're like... That you personally, oh, like, if yeah. someone put it on, you would go... Turn it off. One of your earliest videos is you doing like gr Grandma Joker roleplay. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's like the <laughs> second grandma video. Grandma Joker roleplay? It's, it's a Twitch highlight and it's like two minutes, but it's me. <laughs> it's so bad. It's still on my channel too, but it's me uh, pretending to be like roleplaying as the Joker, doing the Joker impression. Right. And then transitioning into like a just, grandma just voice. A stereotypical and it's like grandma. the grandma reassuring the Joker and telling him that he's okay. And it's so weird. And he's on camera. And I'm on camera. So, yeah. Shit. And it's an H1Z1 video, which is the worst part of the whole thing. It was in my recommended <laughs> earlier this week, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> so, Paul, uh -oh. reviews, dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah, what about you, Mason? <laughs> uh, probably my main comments video. What, you I don't react know, dude. To the I comments? like that one. You like that one? Yeah, I like your IRL videos. Uh, yeah, no, they're shit. When no, they come dude. on, I'm like, turn them and fuck dude, it off. I, I'll punch it in. When, <laughs> I, when I see you with that greasy slink back hair, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I need, I'm bringing back the grease, bro. Please bring, 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 bring it back. back. <laughs> bring back the, the oil slick. slick. The oil slick. Mm. Yeah, mine's definitely my Rainbow Six video. I can't even remember that one. Exactly. <laughs> what? You made a Rainbow I Six made video? It, like when I was trying to transition from Overwatch to anything else, I was just trying stuff. I made it. Was there Ainsley in that one? No, oh. but it was it was just me doing different dumb shit, like doing voices, trying to impress people, and for like the first time on my own, it just backfired yeah. like completely. No oh. one liked it. I remember my first Rainbow Six video. Uh, I remember there was a bit where you were like being Ainsley. And you, oh, were, you were upside Man. down during a <laughs> Spider-Man <Yeah>. case. <laughs> that shit was gold. So what about you? Probably, fuck man, probably one of my rap videos. The fucking rap mm, battle videos. If someone, if someone put like those on, I, I can't, I can't. The worst of the ones that weren't even on our channels, the ones that like we just recorded oh, when we were on a yeah. surf server, like oh, God. that we didn't make. Yep, those are those are bad. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, I keep them on my channel. The only reason I haven't unlisted them is because it's like, hey, that's like where I came from. Like that's like kind of the the Roots. route that started yeah. it all, and I should like be appreciative and celebrative. But it's just. I just look back on the content now and go, Ooh. Yeah. Whenever, whenever Fitz used to have the rapping bits in his videos at the very start of his channel, uh, for some reason, and I think it's because, uh, because I was just friends with him and I'd heard his voice so much mm. that whenever I heard the rapping bits, I like couldn't watch it. It made me so uncomfortable for some reason. And like, it, it's because you, you knew how white I was. You were clearly, <laughs> you were clearly a, you know, a competent rapper because people loved it. But yeah, for it some really reason, good. when I listened to it, I just couldn't, get the fact out of my head that it was you doing it so i i would always skip them fair i remember you said lit like a candlestick a lot oh god i had so many like memorized bars that were just so trash <laughs> oh man anyway same <laughs> just shows how young we were back yeah. then yeah and now i'm 47 hey you, it's the uh, mcswag uh, on the beat yeah. honestly the best on the scene <laughs> that was actually pog that one yeah that was i um og fans will know what we're talking about it's you Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at, you. He's I, looking at you. I drove home with Blue last night and I brought up the fact that the first time we all met, apart from Jay, yeah. the first time we all met was PAX three years ago. Isn't that crazy? It's been three uh, years? Three it's coming up. Years. It's coming up in three Holy years. Holy shit. No off. way, dude. It was PAX 2017. It was 2017. It's been three two, years. Two. Yeah, no. Remember no, but, but it's about to be our three. third PAX that we've been together for. Yeah. Fuck, man. PAX Oz? Yeah. yeah. So you, you knew me when I was like six, just about. You were a young boy, bro. You were like since we've met. You were yeah, we had it technically be two. Eight. We had the first Paxos that we met, and then we had last year's Paxos, which was the crazy one, and then we're about to go to another Paxos. Yeah, so that's so three years. Shit, it's been three years. Isn't that what the wild? Fuck, yeah. so crazy. It's, it's weird, dude, because I still feel like I'm a new. A new YouTuber. Same. I think it's because... Thinking about that, I'm clearly not. <laughs> I think it's because yeah. despite like our popularity, uh, we're obviously dripping with mad clout these days. We're still pretty new to the wider YouTube community. Like a lot of big YouTubers don't... 
like now it's we're being like crossover with some people who are like mainstream yeah. like household youtuber names right but like up until recently people didn't even know who the fuck we were like we had a lot of subscribers but yeah we we're getting a lot of views but like we weren't seen as part of the youtube community you know what i mean which i yeah. think is kind of it's a different animal than just being like a having a Pretty funny fucking, gaming channel it's really weird how our lives have opened up so drastically and so quickly to oh, this yeah. new environment mm, it's, it's very it's very scary but very very interesting and very exciting it's trippy dude super trippy oh dude yeah mm. wait you're right it is two years yeah. No, this is surely our third year. It's our third year oh, of PAX. Oh, true. Third year of but, PAX, but two but yeah. years since we've seen each other. But three years since we probably met each other. Yeah. Like online. Yeah, Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. dude. I mean, that was 2016. Yeah. Is when we met yeah. each other online. Fucking June. So wild. June, July. It's crazy. See, I still think of my channel and I think like, yeah, I've only been doing YouTube for like two yeah, years, two year and a half. Yeah. But then thinking about that, I must have been doing it for like three, four years. Yeah, I, I fucking started my channel. Like I actually made it like May something, 2015. So mm. technically, I, YouTube for four years, but not seriously yeah. until like maybe three. Mm. I think I, yeah. we've all been doing YouTube for three years, but yeah. the anniversary packs yeah, is our second. There's this really interesting website where you can see a calendar and it shows every upload you've ever done on a calendar. So you can scroll through it and see like the months where you uploaded heaps and the months where you didn't upload. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I don't, so like the I that don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to. Watch, that one. You, I went on yours and it is hilarious because like, there are days in total. where it's like seven <laughs> uploads in a month. It's crazy. And then there's a, mo a week where you like a month where you did like two. Yeah. It's so interesting. I, I, I feel like I was looking back at my old videos recently. I feel like uh, 2018 was a fucking good year for my yes. channel and for all of our channels, really. Yeah. 2018 yeah, was a great year. Strong, like 2018 has been like the funniest year, I think. This mm. year has been a lot more like personal development for Just me and i think for all of us yeah lots of little nuances lots of little things happening lots of like developing playing, these people playing with different people doing yeah. different yeah. kinds of content yeah you know how long can you make a can of shrink funny moments you know until people just get disinterested i don't know dude or until you yourself get disinterested but yeah it's very interesting looking back on the arc of all of us and uh mm. i'm proud of us guys we've yeah. come a long way and we're yeah. still here we're still together Still chilling. Guys, this is cringe. What are we doing here? Why, why are we putting our hands in okay, the circle? Demo, Praise man. Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We love the Lord. And gamer subs could miss this. <laughs> gamer subs. Uh, guys, that's been an hour. We are drifting very, very quickly into boomer territory here, reminiscing on yeah. the past. <laughs> True. 30 years. I think it's time to end the show. Uh, anything else anyone wanted to bring up? Uh-uh. I think we're all set. Cool. Uh, just to touch, the uh, live show is when? Friday. Uh, why the fuck did you bring that up? Friday, the 11th of October. The 11th and of October. Tickets online now. And mine and Jay's U2s are still available. Still yeah. available. If Almost you want some. sold out. Almost literally sold out. Literally about to edition. sell out. Literally. Oh, grab one. Literally. Grab one. Put, them so in your fucking, put them in your hands. Look at that. Where's the camera? Epic. Almost wow. sold out. Almost sold Almost out. Almost sold can't out. Get them again. Right. You gotta get it. Yeah. 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 Buy right. them, please. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye, please. For the love of Please. Buy it, please. Bye. Bye. It, please.